black Morans. I'm not very happy with you guys right now. Not at all. Not at all. We have an egg eater. So we have an egg eater. So every time I come in here, I check for eggs. Oh, see? Exactly. That. See it? Somebody did lay an egg. And someone ate it. This is really, really starting to tick me off. Yes. Yes, I know. So this is every day. I have not gotten an egg from them in days. Look at this. Somebody ate their egg. Hello, welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. Chrissy here, and today we're gonna find solutions for an egg eater. I have a chicken that started eating eggs back in about October and November. I pulled a little trick on her. Here it is. Found a beautiful egg today. So did the chickens. Now I think we have an egg eater. Well, we gotta take this beautiful egg away. Yep, you guys are jerks. Yep, you're jerks. I'll show you. You like to eat egg? Hmm, I wonder if the trick I saw before will work. Let's get some mustard. See how you like that. Get a little mustard, put it in the egg, which is a beautiful brown egg, by the way, that they absolutely wasted for no good reason. Yeah, let's fill you with mustard. It kind of looks like a yolk. This is supposed to make you grossed out. Hopefully you never peck an egg again. Try it. Try it. Yeah, I can't wait to see your face. Try it. Try it. Is it gross? Do you hate it? Oh, she loves it! Oh my god, they Now this is in my Black Cup of Moran's pen. So this is my very expensive, very good genetic, highest selling eggs and baby chick pen. So it's very important because I haven't gotten eggs in like three days. About two months ago, I separated all my hens that I hatched out myself two years ago. And then I separated out all the hens I hatched from them one year ago. Nothing happened. I collected eggs with no problems. So that tells me that it's one of the offspring that is a one-year-old hen now. I couldn't identify who it was. I started separating them out and I could not identify it. So here we go again. Let's try this awesome egg trick and see if I can find out who it is. And if not, I've got the perfect solution to get rid of an egg eater forever. There's an egg eater in here, and we are about to find out who it is. Hey girls, here's an egg. There's a special secret surprise in this egg. And I'm gonna, oh, you're not, you're not gonna be the one. Back off. I'm gonna put this egg in here. And we're gonna come back in an hour or so and see who has a green face. Now, if you have a green face, you are going into the stew pot. Do you understand me? Do you get it? Ladies, ladies, we will find out who is in the egg eater very soon. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Is it you? Is it you? Could it be you? I think it might be you, or you. Is it you? Okay. I'll be back to find out who's the culprit. Oh yeah, I saw you looking. I'm coming to check it out. Did you do anything? Let me see. Oh, nope, we're good. False alarm, false alarm.
Have you found yourself in a predicament? Huh? I caught you. You have been caught. Red-handed or green-beaked, you have been caught. I watched you. I watched you. I saw what you did. So this is number 20 right in here. I just caught her eating the egg. So number 20 is secluded and then I've got number 79 back there secluded. They both were trying to eat an egg. This is what they've done so far. When I put it in there it had a very minute small hole right there and they've dug a hole in it and eaten the insides. We'll put it back and see if I can catch anybody else. seven or eight days to solve this problem. We have a solution to our egg eater and it's in this box. Let's get this together. slide them in there. You gotta apply a little bit of pressure because you gotta apply a little bit of pressure because of the lip of this trim down here. Once you get it started and push it down, then you'll have to push the bottom kind of up over the back lip and then until it clicks. There Boom, click. And then the back of them, they lip up over the back. We'll show you. I'll start this and then you can show. I'll flip it up. Get that flipped up and I'll flip this up. So we'll slide up the trim. under the trim. All right, this is so cool. You want to test it out with an egg? Sure. You want me to lay it? Here. Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da! No more egg eaters. No more egg eaters. So cute. He was watching us put that together. Oh, you were showing us your teeth. Hey, you need braces. You need braces? <laughs> you cutie, my wife. Cutie, my wife. All right, let's take that out helper. there. Get it. You're a good helper. I'm not getting your baby. It's okay. I'm not getting your baby. Tom Tom, look what we got. Tom Tom.
Tom, look. You want to help us carry it? Come on, Tom Tom. Come on. Come on. All right. All right, we're moving it. It's not for you. Is it heavy? No, it's not bad. egg is all gone and the only thing left is the green food dye that I put in it. So after putting them up, somebody else ate the egg. And I see some remnants of an egg right here. Look what you got, guys and girls. We gonna put you in the corner over here. Yeah, I think so. That's a nice spot. Take that feeder thing out of there. I'm going to. Do you think there actually was that inner behind that other nest box? You think we had to put it up behind there to give them privacy, or do you think this will work? Oh, I think that'll work. I mean, we just gotta see what they do. I think it'll work. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think we should put a banner behind it for privacy? Like a solid surface behind it? Or should we just leave it open to the nice fencing? I don't know. I don't know either. They did have a solid back when I had them in the crate. Right. Yeah. Right. We might so let us know. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Comment below and let us know what you think we should do. Or if you have one of these, what worked best for you? Move it over a little bit for you guys. Move it up in this corner. I guess let's let them explore it for a minute and then we'll put some of their wood chips in there. Okay. Let's draw in there. Don't let her fill you. She just had a full 16 ounces. She's going to tell you mad and she's going to nip on your leg. Now this is number 79. I suspected her eating eggs back in November. In fact, I brought her in, I saw what color eggs she laid, I took her beautiful picture with it, but I really did suspect it because I saw her have some yolk on her face sometimes. I'm gonna protect my eyes, you guys. Um, that guinea that got me the other day was not fun. I forgot about it, having chickens close to my face. Um, anyways, so I suspected her. She was the very first one to run over there today. So let's show her the new nesting box. Your behavior is not acceptable. We have solutions because you're pretty and because I love you. You are so pretty. Yes. So please don't peck eggs. Don't peck the eggs. Tell everybody, I'm not going to peck the eggs because I'm a pretty girl. Tell them. Yeah. Let me go show you something. This is the solution. See it? Look. You cannot peck eggs in there. Do not peck eggs in there and have good behavior. I think this is gonna work, you guys. This thing is awesome. What are you 
doing? You're trying to get as close to me as you can. What are you doing? I know. Go back to the front. Go back to the front. Let's let the Moran settle in with their new nest box and go pick eggs from other coops. Holy cow. Today is the day for eggs. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. beautiful babies have for me today, huh? You have some eggs? Oh, you have a sitting hen. Well, hi. Hi. Oh, goodness. Oh, yes. These are my crusted cream light bars. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take them. Yeah. I'm gonna move them over here. You can come back in. None of these are warm, so they're not yours. These are beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful color blue. Thank you, girls. You know the routine. Go in, buddy. Go in. Go in. Ah! Ah! You're doing it again! I was nice and didn't even get the stick out this time. Here. Go. Go in your bed. Go. Go. You took advantage of me. I thought we had an agreement. Go in your go in your house. Go in your house, buddy. Come on. Come on. Go in your house. Come on, go in your house. Stay away. Hi, girls. Hi. Hey, beautiful girl. Oh, she's popping egg out right in front of me. Thank you. Did that disturb you? Look at that. It's so wet. That was so cool. That's my Isabella Leghorn. That is so cool. Thank you, honey. So you are being used for a very special project. Yes. With you. Yes, both of you. Very special project. Top secret. Top secret, gorgeous. These are my Americanas. That is a well summer. Which is her. She's part of a special project too. And then these are the Isabellas. Gen pop. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, caught a girl. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that's it. That's a lot of eggs, girls.
Oh, there's an egg on the floor in here. That must be a new layer. I'll just put that in here so I can collect it from the outside. Let's see if there's any duck eggs. They like to lay over here. No duck eggs. No duck eggs, just tons of gem pop eggs. This is so awesome, you guys. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. Are you having a good day? I love you. I love you. You waiting for me over here? Oh, whiskey, whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, mommy, baby. Me. Yeah. So I get licks, but I don't get to rub. Mm, I love. I love you. I love you. Anything yet, girls? Did you try it out yet? Did you? Did you try it out? Hmm? No. You didn't. You just ate all your eggs for the day? Yeah, laid them and someone ate them? It's all right, there's always tomorrow. But you should see all the eggs I got from all the other pens. I hope this improves, girls. Thank you so much for joining us today on this egg eating journey. This is a good girl right here. She is not an egg eater, are you? Are you? You're a good girl. You guys, thank you so much for watching today. We really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and hit the little dingle bell. It'll alert you every single time we upload new videos. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.